What is up guys, we are back with some more Pokemon Shield Nuzlocke and we are on Route 5 about to fight all these trainers like I said last time. Um, last episode was a bit disappointing I believe with adding on Shimmy Sham and losing out on Coco. So we're here to kind of redeem ourselves and not lose anybody on this, on this route slash grind to the next town. I guess it was a good idea starting off with Neo. Um, fire type advantage stuff. A Woobat. Uh, we would bite. Air Cutter. I think Air Cutter has always been like one of my least favorite flying type moves to use. But I think it's because before I didn't really pay attention to physical and special moves early on in Pokemon. So I'd always like be confused on why my Pokemon with like a high physical attack was doing very poorly with Air Cutter. But then I think Air Cutter is a special, special attack. So end up missing out on a lot of damage from that and uh shout out to the fan that's actually been interactive and active uh with the playthrough rex the marowak and louis the grookey i will be taking those name suggestions um that you put in on i believe it was episode four that you commented on um so the next pokemon that i catch um i'll choose one of the three names that you suggested I totally forgot Krogunt can learn ground type moves. I really just need to get a fire stone and then I also need to get, I think it was the shiny stone. It was the shiny stone. I keep getting it mixed up between if it's shiny stone or dawn stone for Zelda. Who you calling on the phone girl? Like you, you lost. <laughs> Oh, I guess we're at Holberry now. Well, the perfect thing about Holberry is um, there's a there's a spot to fish at for a random encounter, and luckily for us, um, I went back to one of the towns that offered uh, a fishing spot, and I caught a magic carp there. Um, I think I sh I think I showed you guys the magic carp. It's been it's been a couple of days since I last recorded, so yeah. We nicknamed the Magikarp Rar. Uh, and so if we end up fishing up a Magikarp, um, we can reattempt um, our actual capture. And I'm looking at my team and I'm kind of realizing that we do have a weakness to flying type. I think I mentioned that before, but it's like each time I look and see Sheedle, Zelda, and Shimmy Sham, I'm just like, wow, a bird type could really wreck half the team. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you guys were just talking about me. Yeah, we'll, we'll try not to take too long. So, I'm thinking I want to put Shimmy Sham out first. Um, I'm hoping he shouldn't do too much with Mega Drain. Yeah, uh, special attack is 31, and then Zelda's... Special attack is 54 yet, so it'd be probably in our best interest to uh, start off with Shimmy Sham for 
this uh, fishing encounter. Oh, sweet, we got the netballs too. Alrighty, guys, uh, let's check out this encounter. Oh, snap! We got a Chin Chow. I wasn't expecting to get a Chin Chow. I actually never have, like, fully used uh, a Chimeco in my playthrough before. Um, I'm kind of hoping Mega Drain doesn't do too much. <laughs> Okay, yeah, clutch. I think I'll use it one more time and then uh, throw that. Oh, I use Confuse right throw a Pokeball. And honestly, this works out perfectly because uh, I'm trying to. I think I'll. I think I'll switch out Sheetle. Either Sheetle or Shimmy Sham. It'll probably be Shimmy Sham that gets swapped out, no lie. So, even though we're like a lower level, it kind of makes it so it'll be harder to catch the Pokemon. So, I'm probably about to switch to Zelda. Zelda or. T yeah, Zelda. I was going to say Teardrop, but there's no point in switching to Teardrops if it knows Spark. It'll just wreck teardrops and then we'll be down uh, without our starter. There we go. Alrighty, so we just caught ourselves a, a Chin Chow, and uh, out of the three names that Rex the Marowak and Louie the Grookey suggested, uh, we're gonna go with uh, Nikki. And we're actually gonna add Nikki to the team as well. Uh, I think that was the spelling that they wanted. And we're gonna add you to the party. And we're just going, we going to kick Shimmy Sham out of here. <laughs> I don't know. I think I feel some type of way about Shimmy Sham just taking out Coco to where I'm like, no, you can never be forgiven now. <laughs> um, currently, I'm trying to decide if I want to have Zelda, like, wreck this gym. I think that's what I'll have done. Something like that. But then... I almost forgot we have to let go over here. Oops. Almost uh, missed out on the potions. I forgot we have to go talk to her here to get her to go back to the gym. Yeah, just give me that card, girl. So I think before we even like go in there and start fighting the gym, I want to pick up um, an item that'll boost the grass type moves. I think I can get that from her. Yeah, there we go. And then there's also, yeah, the luck incense. I want that just for prize money purposes. Um, that'll that'll definitely be. Good to have on. I guess I'll put it on Neo. Oh, yeah, that's perfect to put on. Um on Nikki. I actually forgot that we 
uh, that we even get a magnet in this area. And one thing I didn't even do, I didn't even check what Nikki's moves were. That's probably something I should have, I should have did after capturing. <laughs> but I know Spark and Confuse Ray. Bubble Beam and Thunder. Okay, you got a nice little move set then. Um, I'm not even sure what level uh, Nikki will evolve at. I'm trying to do like too much stuff at like the same time while playing and recording. I'm trying to make sure that uh, I got that nickname right. <laughs> See, and they keep suggesting the Wetrush, and that's because, um, when you heal up now, uh, because of the announcement on January 9th, I think, yeah, January 9th, because today is the 19th, so it's been a good minute since, uh, the announcement, but, uh, Nintendo and Game Freak announced the DLC expansion for Pokemon Sword and Shield, um, I don't know if you guys caught that, but it was pretty pretty sweet to look at. I know a lot of people are complaining about the DLCs and expansions because now they're feeling like Game Freak's about to be the next EA because <laughs> everybody knows EA just charges out the butt with uh, expansions and loot crates and all that extra stuff that nobody really cares for and basically give you like half-made games. That's how a lot of people felt about Sword and Shield uh, because once you once you beat like the post game stuff, which doesn't take that long to do, there's nothing to do but shiny hunt and battle. But I mean, that's always what the case has been in the previous games. But I think a lot of people were wanting a battle frontier or something, um, which hasn't been seen in like a while now. Other than the DLC expansion announcement, there was also the announcement of the remake of Pokemon Red and Blue Rescue Team. They're calling it. Um, what are they calling it? They're calling it Pokemon Rescue Deluxe. And I'm guessing that you're going to end up having to... Oh, not having to. I think the game in general will just have both game exclusives in one. So now you can have all of them. I think Red was for the Game Boy and then Blue came out for the Nintendo DS. Back when the Nintendo DS was still like fresh and new type of thing. So... I guess that's something to look forward to. Um, I was really hoping for that Diamond and Pearl announcement. Because <laughs> uh, Diamond and Pearl is the truth. But we didn't get that. Hopefully we uh, get something, I guess, later on in the year that's way better. I probably should have used Magical Leaf. I think Magical Leaf does more. So, Pex with the level up. Oh, you were trash, Julia. Oh, but I totally forgot I put the Rose Incent on. So, of course I'm gonna do more damage now. Oop. Yeah, battle me, girl. Okay, Heather with a Krabby. I probably shouldn't even use all my Mega Dream early on, because, like, what if I need it in the upcoming fight or something, you know? Yeah, we don't need Sweet Scent Zelda. We're playing a, a Nuzlocke. I don't need that for lowering um, evasiveness or even pulling Pokemon out of the wild area. Which kind of reminds me, I have to go through and try to remember uh, where I caught Pokemon at in the wild area before I go back. <laughs> So I'm not just in like the old areas I already went to trying to catch Pokemon.
I wish I could just sprint in here, but I guess a light jog will work. I'm trying to remember what the puzzle was over here, because I think I messed up um, on my first playthrough when I went through this gym. But I think it was because I was just rushing through trying to progress through the game as fast as possible. Ah, you got a little choodle. But we about to destroy your choodle though, so no hard feelings. The reason it works out that we're going in with like a grass type 2 is because um, Nessa has the the evolution of choodle. Um, Drudna? I, I think it was Drudna. We don't even really need a physical type, but that's it's kind of good to just have Sucker Punch on just in case. Oh, it doesn't matter which one we go to. Boom, bam. Yeah, let's go. Oh yeah, your Goldeen knows Peck now that I think about it. So we're gonna, yeah, take you out ASAP. <laughs> I think I'll use Growth and Mega Drain. I don't think Aracuda knows any moves that is really threatening like that. But this is just to make sure that when we go up against her final Pokemon that we whip its butt. Oh yeah, so you, you just know Bite. I probably should have used Growth one more time, but I also don't want to take the risk of um, having her Pokemon get a crit on me or something. That's like my biggest worry when I go up against these gym leaders or something is that they crit. <laughs> and when they crit, they crit hard too. Yeah, Dreadnought. I think I was calling it Dreadnought. <laughs> there we go. Gotta use the stronger, uh, grass move. Wait, you're faster than me? How is your Dreadnought faster than my Zelda? Oh wait, I think I do have like a slow nature on Zelda? No, 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 I have a neutral nature actually. Maybe it's just because it's an evolution in its final form and mine is still kind of in like second stage.
Alright, let's see what you use. Max darkness. I actually took... Oh, man. Okay, sweet. I wasn't sure if I was going to take it out or not, but it has that times four, but... Uh, if Max Darkness lowered my special defense and it was also a special attack, that means that next hit would have took out Zelda. And that would have... that would have been tragic. Aw, oh, yeah. Give me them levels. I'm actually really proud to have Zelda on the team. Um, now I can't wait to evolve her even more. Except I know just for like the next gym that we won't really be able to use Zelda like that because I think the next gym is the fire gym. So I'll be having to rely on teardrops. Teardrops and Nikki. Oh, Whirlpool. I don't really think I'll see myself using Whirlpool like that. Alright, I think we got the shoes that we that we want for that too. So now that we beat that gym, we can go talk to the chairman. Oh yeah, hook it up, girl. Let me collect all the cards. Ooh, ooh. Good thing you can't like knock people over. It'd be kind of hilarious if they incorporated that. Like if, if you like walk into somebody, they kind of are actually physically affected by it. They just look at you like, "Yo, dude, like watch your step." What the heezy's going on? Oh, oh, I won't use Retaliate either. Um, actually, that's actually a good move to have actually during the Nuzlocke, just in case you do lose somebody, but just make sure you bring out someone that is fast and strong enough to really utilize that move. I guess if I ended up losing uh, Nikki, Nikki, Teardrop, or Zelda, I could put Retaliate on Neo, and Neo could come out and just wreck them, but it's probably better to use... Um, while he says like an Arcanine and not just a Growler, which is why I'm going to try to get uh, the Firestone ASAP as well. Oh, okay, our team's already healed up. Um, only thing I really don't like is that like we're falling behind in levels. Yeah, I was like, there's an item down here. I'm trying to think who would be best to... Oh, there's only one option left for who could hold that item. I wish I had leftovers to give um, Sheetal instead, though. But we're only eight levels away from evolving Sheetal into War Beetle, so that's, that's kind of good. Um, and then we're actually in a new area, too. Uh, we don't... Oh man, I totally forgot about the fight. <laughs> well, actually, no. Do we fight him here? So another thing about this cave is that um, 
is that it's also just like the first mine cave where I don't get like a wild encounter by just running around. So I'll have to, I guess, close my eyes and uh, see if I can run into something random to add to the team. Hopefully it'll be something useful and good. Hopefully it's not a shuckle. I don't know why I would do with a shuckle. Because uh, I think last time when I fought, um, I think Solosis did a lot of freaking damage. And I think Psy Shock hurts a lot. <gasps> Oh my gosh. Um I think I, I think Neo can do it. Why did Sashok do so much? Oh my gosh. Yeah, we're gonna switch out. We're switching out into, uh... I guess we'll put Sheetal out there just because we get the super effectiveness from, um, Struggle Bug. Yeah, light screen and then... Oh, you know Rock Tone? Bro, what? I don't know, I wasn't, I wasn't expecting... I wasn't expecting his Pokemon to know Rock Tomb like that, but I guess it kind of makes sense to have it prepared for... for a bug Pokemon coming out. That's fine, I'm glad I put up the, the Reflect. Thing you're just using like physical attacks, right? I'm actually glad that uh, his Gothica or Gothita <laughs> missed that with that first rock tone. Oh, but did we get a crit? Yeah. getting these gains. Uh, Ponyta, Ponyta. We're gonna keep you in. But now I know that he teaches his psychic Pokemon rock moves. Oh, you tried. Of course you have a super potion. Does anybody else feel like when you use like a potion or something, like it increases like your Pokemon's chance or their Pokemon's chance of getting like a crit on you? I don't know if I'm the only one that has ever like noticed that like typically a lot of times when I heal up or they heal up a Pokemon will get a crit on that next turn. This fight is taking longer than I expected it to, but 
It was mostly just because I wasn't prepared for battling him. I don't know how I forgot that I was going to be battling him. Yeah, we're super slow. So everything's going to outspeed us. It's not every day you get to use side beam? Is that what you just said, bro? Like, it's a psychic fairy type. What do you mean you don't use side beam? Maybe it's because it faints too quickly. Okay, well, now I know to definitely use uh, my ore beetle against him when Sheetal evolves because as soon as I put up reflect and light screen and just use bug moves, it's it's over. I need a special attack bug move though because I think that's what Sheetal's better at, special attack than physical. So that's why that fight took a little bit longer than it should have. Yeah, I guess I'll take that, buddy. Yeah, go heal up with your, with your sorry self. But guys, I'm going to end this episode off here. Next episode, I'm going to actually start off um, by catching a Pokemon and trying to figure out what nickname to give it. Hopefully, it's something useful for the team um, to, I guess, try to add more balance to the team. I'm, I'm really looking at the team and... Honestly, like, for now, it's like, I kind of have no use for Sir Pex. I could see maybe if I needed, like, a flying a flying type out there to fight a fighting type, but I have Sheetal that can handle that. Um, and then with the high defense, it can take rock moves that these Pokemon use. So, I don't know, Sir Pex might get replaced on the next episode. But, guys, I hope you enjoyed. Make sure you leave a like for the video. It helps out the video a lot. And also subscribe to my channel. It helps out the channel a lot. And with that said, stay sharp. Later.